Hello, Tracy here, and I'm just cleaning this space. I decided I was going to do another quick reading, but I wanted to uh, definitely clean this space. So we're going to go ahead and start, jump in. The bottom of the deck, we have indecision. So I don't know, maybe somebody has a decision that they have to make. Maybe they're at a crossroads. Maybe they're at a fork on the road. Or whatever it is, someone has something to think about. And if my air comes on and it's loud, I'll try and talk louder. I just saw 111 on the timer. And if this video is longer than 10 minutes on uh, TikTok, you can watch the full video on YouTube. So this seems like I wanted to come out. Two of them. Storm warning and yin yang. So they wanted to come out together. Hmm. Storm warning and yin yang. So this could be about a decision about a relationship. It's not going to keep or have, somebody else is not going to be happy. So someone is making a decision about something. Something that suits them. Maybe it doesn't suit the other person, but it suits them. And someone else it's not happy. And that came out with the angel of balance. So it could be that this storm warning and this yin yang that leads to this broken heart, but also this balance is something that's very necessary. Because the yin-yang is about balance. And the angel of balance is about balance. So without it, staying where you're at, riding, trying to ride out the storm, is not going to bring you balance. It's not going to bring peace. Anything else, Spirit? Anything else? Bottom of the deck. Can't make this up. We got indecision again. Somebody's got a decision to make. Somebody's got some things to think about. They have to think about more than just walking away. They have to think about when, how, you know, where. They have a lot, but they have a lot going for them. And they have a plan. And their plan's gonna work. It's almost like, it's almost like they have to fight fire with fire just to make the plan work. You know what I'm saying? It's almost like, okay, so like, in order for you to have, in order for you, so you could, you could have to go to court against somebody. But if the person that you're having to represent you is like someone that's not really skilled and can't really get down with the crown if you really know what I mean. They're not going to win. Because if you got a pussycat as an attorney going in against a badger, they may lock you up for the rest of your life 
And this is just like on the jaywalking ticket. But if you find somebody that can go in there and they are like a badger slayer, then not only is the other side going to have to pay your ticket, but they're going to have to give you a public letter of apology. You see what I'm saying? You, you feel what I'm talking about? Don't go to a fight carrying a sport. Don't carry no plastic spoon. Don't carry no plastic knife. Don't carry nothing plastic. Go to a fight with a gun, okay? Figuratively speaking, not literally speaking. That's what I'm feeling. You're going to have to do this kind of like sneaky like, you know. You're going to have to be like one of those, I'm just going to the store to get me a pack of cigarettes. Did you need anything? I'll be right, right back. And don't ever come back, one of them. So let's go ahead and clarify this storm warning with this yin yang. And at the bottom, we got the Ace of Swords. So there's a truth that we already know that's out. And this is why we have to make this decision. This is why we're at this fork in the road, this indecision. Because it's not so much of do we stay or do we go. I feel like it's matter a matter of how do we stay and do we go. Oh, the tower. Don't these look similar? Don't these look similar? Like... Some shit is about to pop off. You could just hear the thunder and lightning. You know, and I probably, ooh, and at the bottom, it's because the truth came out. Oh, damn. Mm, 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 mm. Woo, I just felt it. It felt like lightning went straight down my spine to the crack of my mind and behind. Damn, what else, Spirit? What else you got to talk about this storm warning and this yin-yang besides this tower? But whatever this shit is, it's a doozy. It's, it's, it's something that needed to happen. It needed to happen. It's this is like somebody being pregnant for eleven months. So eleven months, you need to have that damn baby. That baby need to come out. That baby need to come out. That baby gonna come out like fifty-two damn pounds. Shit. This is something that needed to happen. This is something that could not be stopped. This is spirit that said, F this. And I'm trying not to cuss as much. Fuck this. I'm not having this no more. That's exactly what this is. Spirit, what else? Come on. What else? I know this just can't be it, but I think it's just maybe it might just be the shock and awe that someone made is making a decision that involves someone else that they feel is their other half, their better half, their yin to their yang, their peanut butter to the jelly. Oh, and we got an emperor. So maybe this is the emperor making that decision. Maybe after, after a time, finally the emperor making that decision with the page of cups and the three of cups having that wish wishful thinking wanting to have like some type of uh some type of collaboration some type of celebration some type of something and you know what he's moving forward he she whoever is moving forward Cause they see shit 
a whole nother way now. Now they 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 done did some deep, deep, deep diving inside. They went so down so far deep inside. They they saw the underside of their damn toenails. They went so damn deep inside of themselves to, to figure some shit out. But you know what? They got some shit figured out. They figured out where home is. They figured out who they work well with. They figured out a whole bunch of shit. Maybe they was even looking at, at something online, doing some research, doing some studying, doing something. But they figured this shit out. It's like they was, it's like they felt like they kept the blindfold on themselves for so damn long, for whatever reason, listening to somebody else. But you know what? It's like for somehow, some way, some communication got through. Now they feel that. They want to express something, but they feel that they can't. Oh, like maybe this person is is so spiritually protected that the only way for them to be able to communicate with you is if they elevate themselves, is if they free themselves from all these burdens and these unmet expectations and all these secrets and these lies that don't even belong to them and give themselves over to spirit, to God, to the most high, a death and a true rebirth. They're moving forward. They're moving forward. It's like at first they were afraid to, but you know what? When you have a whole bunch of stab, that knives stabbing you in the back, you tend to see the truth of some some shit. That's that's what helps you to propel forward. That's what helps you to to get in your car and drive the fuck on somewhere. Anywhere, just away from here, away from the sadness, towards the sun. Let's clarify this broken heart and this angel of balance. <clears throat> we got the eight of wands at the bottom. So there's some communication that needs to be had. It's like you, you know that it's on you. You know, it's like you, I get with this broken heart, you're trying to mend the broken heart. It's like you want to mend not just your broken heart, but someone else's broken heart with this angel of balance. Because it wasn't just your heart that was broke. Because if you have, if you need balance, then there's always two. At least two sides, two people, something. And you realize that now after you did some deep, deep thinking. Like I said, you went so deep. You know what the inside of your toenails look like. You went that deep to figure some shit out with the four of inspiration at the bottom. Figure some shit about what's home. Who's home? Where is home? And to even figure out home. What else, Spirit? What else do you want? Want us to know? What other? What else? What other messages? That's what I'm trying to say. Whatever I'm trying to say. Spare know what I'm trying to say. Thank you. 
Yeah, somebody. They did some some deep thinking. They did some some soul searching. They had to. It was time. It was time. Because they were just breaking their own heart. Not just the heart of others, but they were breaking their own heart. And it was like time for them to sit down and realize that shit. Ace of Voices. That's the Ace of Swords. Coming to, coming to grips with it. Realizing the truth of it. Five of Inspiration, which is the Five of Wands. It's like conflict for no, for no fucking reason. For no reason. You know? With the Two of Inspiration that came out too. Like, sitting here plotting and planning conflict for no reason. For no reason. Trying to think, hmm, let's see. How can I put this together? Hmm. Maybe if I do it like this, do it like that. For no reason. Then you have the three of voices, which is the three of swords. Eight of materials. And the strength card. So it's like, as hard as you try, as much as you worked on Whatever that little plan was, it just didn't work out. It just didn't work out. With the magician at the bottom. It was a failed plan. Because you got the, the three of voices and the five of wands. So all you did was just cause conflict. All you did was just break a heart. That was it. And it could be with this... This emperor, you know, this emperor may be receiving these, these tower moments, you know, because, and maybe now he wants to, he's having wishful thinking, thinking that things are going to work out, but he's really receiving these tower moments and he wants to move forward. Let's see what else. You know, but yeah, it's almost like, and with the ace of emotions, now you want somebody wants a new start in love, not just a new start in love, but a new start with home. Because here's the four of inspiration again. Now, somebody wants now, somebody wants like to start over, you know, at the bottom of the eight of cups. After somebody else walked away. It's a, it's it's like it's it's funny until it ain't funny no more. You know? When does it stop being funny? When when the person who thought it was funny gets their feelings hurt. Then it ain't funny no more. It's a game until you win stupid prizes. Then it's no longer a game. Then it's no fun. But until then, it's fun. I don't understand that. It's fun if it's at someone else's expense, but not whenever it's yours. So we have the star, the five of cups, and the page of staffs. So it's like, yeah, maybe there was this person who was this, this star. Now you want healing or something after doing something really immature with the page of staffs that led to the five of cups. Acting very immature, which led to someone now having some regret. Because of some silly games and then winning some stupid prizes. You know? Completing a cycle, someone completed a cycle. I believe it was maybe this, this empress. She completed a cycle. It seemed like she walked the fuck away, but it was like she was completely guided to do that. Completely guided to end a cycle. And it was a major cycle. 
that had this person walk away. And when this person walked away, it was like, that's what turned this person into the empress. When this person walked the fuck away. And here she is, spiritually protected. It's like, can't, can't really touch her. Can't really touch her. I mean, but you know what? Whoever did this, whoever this is, whoever this resonates with, all they did was just bless this empress. That was it. And now here they are trying to get back in. Trying to spin the block. This came out, but it didn't really come out, so I'm not going to take it. Yeah. Trying to spin the block. Once again, here's a star card. It's like maybe somebody wants healing. Or maybe somebody wants to get next to this star again. You know, now this person is a star. And maybe it's now someone realizes it. Could be this emperor. Here, here he is again. Maybe this emperor realizes, oops. That's a star. What was I thinking of? I was given to the wrong one. I wasn't even giving equally. I was given to the wrong one more than I should have been given to the store. It's one of those things that you like, damn, I sure do hate it. Because now somebody is feeling trapped, stuck, like Chuck. Some bullshit that they did. You know? Sure do hate it. But it was funny while it was funny. But it wasn't funny when it wasn't. Because once again, here's the Empress. So we got the Empress, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Ten of Cups. So I'm thinking... That because this person completed a major cycle, walked the fuck away, became that emperor status, and is spiritually guided and protected, that she's going to remember all that bullshit that she had to go through for a long time. And she's going to be happy for a long time because she deserves to be, especially if she had to put up a bullshit for a long time. You know? And sometimes it's like that. Sometimes you gotta leave the wrong one just to find where the happiness lies. Because sometimes God's like, you know what? I'm not gonna give it to you until you can get rid of what no longer works. So, now this could be for a Sagittarius because a Queen of Wands and the Temperance card came out. So maybe this is a separate message. Let's see. But maybe there's somebody that's looking for healing. Maybe there's somebody that needs to be healed. You know? But it's that Empress... And it's like, you know, maybe she uh, is, is a healer. And she's successful in her career. You know, but whatever it is, she's happy. Whatever it is, she's doing the dang thing. Anything else? Yeah. 
she's successful. She's like uh, making sure that she's taking care of herself in every which way. Home. Heart. She's protecting herself, defending herself. Making sure that she's giving herself her wish fulfillment. And then this came out. And it's like she's, she's got that strength. She's got her own back. She's a bad B. Because she took a chance. She took a chance and she took a chance on herself. She's a bad B. Boom, 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 boom. I feel like she needs her own music. Mm. I wish I knew how to sing because I would sing y'all a song. But since I don't, I won't. The bottom of the deck, we got that king of wands. This could be somebody who's experiencing justice. Whether that's good karma, whether that's karma, karma, it doesn't make a difference. But that's somebody who's experiencing justice. Somebody who I feel has a message that they want to deliver. It's like they, because the truth has is, been known now. Now they see a truth. And it's like, this is something that has kept them up at night. Maybe because somebody walked away. But this is something that they've been thinking about for a while. Could be nine weeks, nine months. This is something that they, their head's been thinking about it. They've been, it's like they can almost count the, the dots on the ceiling or the, it's like here you see squares on the ceiling. Like at one point, this person could count has stayed awake at night and counted the squares on the ceiling or something. But the owl is in the window and the owl is very wise. And the owl has been whispering to them, giving them direction, which way they need to go. Seven of Wands, what they need to do these also flipped out the tower. This is the third tower. The high priestess. The fool. The eight of swords. The hanging man. The Wheel of Fortune, and at the bottom, the Queen of Swords. So, could have been up at night, trying to think, trying to defend themselves, thinking about everything that they feel is crashing down on them because of this star because them not recognizing and realizing in time who the fuck they was dealing with and who the fuck this person was. Now they see it, but they see it too late. It's like you walking down the street, you see a thousand dollar bill. You don't pick it up until you walk 10 steps and then you say, let me go back and pick it up by then. Somebody else then came and picked it up behind you. It's like you saw it, but you saw it too late. It clicked, but it didn't click until the other person clicked the fuck off. Then you felt like a fool. Because you felt trapped. Not knowing what to do. And no other option but... To look at shit differently. 
and to see, wait a minute, maybe this wheel of fortune is not turning in my favor any longer because instead of me being the emperor I was supposed to have been, maybe at that time I was just kind of playing these little childhood games. These childhood games that, that came back to bite me in the ass. I mean, people don't think about that shit until it's too late, you know? But right now, this other person, this queen of swords at the bottom, she's got wish fulfillment. She's building up everything that she could possibly want. She understands that it's gonna take time, but guess what? She's got so much love, so much self-respect, so much commitment to herself that she knows she's gonna do it. She put those burdens down that were not even her burdens. She relinquished that shit. And she made a decision that, you know what? I have to repair my own heart because these other people are just gonna just continue to tear it down. So it's like she healed herself. She, he, whoever. They healed themselves. And they saw the truth. They saw the devil. And they made their decision based on that. The truth. And it set them free. Anything else, Spirit? Anything else? One thing about the truth, an ace of ace of swords. Or when that when that truth hits you, there's nothing you can do to to hide it. You can't cover it up it anymore. You can't not see it. We got the four of pentacles. Someone saw the truth about their stability, about their own stability. We got the magician. We got the Ten of Cups. We got the Eight of Wands. We got the Prince of Pentacles. And we got the Nine of Wands. So someone saw the truth about their stability, about where their happiness lies, about w how they were able to create and manifest and what they were able to do when they were with someone that they was actually stable. It's almost like this person now feels like they have to approach this person gingerly and they know that this person they're not even sure if they can this person may even have them blocked but they know that they're going to have to try and get through with some type of apology some type of communication some type of communication that's going to lead to at least some type of sun in the in the future they want to do something that's going to lead to some type of happiness because you know what? When we keep it real with ourselves, sometimes we had to just say, you know what? I fucked up. Sometimes we have to take ownership. At the bottom, we got temperance, healing, healing. And maybe someone is looking at someone else as they're healing. 
while they're going through healing from conflict, healing from lies, healing from trickery, all that. Watching that person complete cycles. And then here they are. Watching, watching another person plotting, planning, but at the same time receiving karma for those plots and the plans. And it's not just that person, but it's the other people that were involved receiving karma. All of them. Somewhere between four and nine people. Things coming to the light. Somebody could pass because of it. Someone taking time out to work on themselves. Seeing the truth about someone else and their illusions, their lies, their darkness. Seeing the truth about this person. And this person is only after what they can get. Let's go to the stack of cards, see what it says. At the bottom it says, right path. You're on the right path. If you're moving forward, that decision that you have to make that broken heart, those broken hearts that you need to mend, so that you're on the right path. Something just fell. Put some respect on my name. Teach them how to treat you. That's right. Put some respect on my mind. You ain't, you don't have to like me, but you got to respect me. Mm. Mm. Cause if you want to disrespect me, go ahead. Just keep in mind, you may not like how I disrespect you in return. Hmm? Cause I don't have to play by your rules when I got my own rules. Hmm. I'm going to just take a whole bunch of them popped up. Too many. Too many. I'm not going to take them. Can you please specify a little closer, Spirit? Just a little bit more. But yeah, I like that. Put some respect on my name. Yes, indeed. And maybe that was the real whole thing. Maybe that was the whole thing. Somebody didn't respect somebody else. Apparently, that's what it was. Someone felt like they it was okay for them to disrespect. No, motherfucker. It is never okay for you to disrespect anybody. Do you like being disrespected? Is it okay to disrespect you? If it's okay to disrespect you, then you let people disrespect you. But you don't try and disrespect nobody in return. That's just, I don't even know if people can really fight that good anymore. Seriously, I can't fight like that. I'm not trying to disrespect like nobody like that. I tell everybody, hey, my fighting skills is not like that. They ain't like that. I can't do all that shit. It says, just done. Just be done. 
whatever this decision you got to make, make it. Walk away. Go away. Love self. It's a dead horse. It's a closed door. It says it's final. Just be done and go the fuck away. What does this one say? It says, I'm not trying to be rude, but bitch, let me tell you something. And sometimes it's like that. I ain't trying to be rude, but I'm not really trying to hear what you're talking about. I'm not really trying to hear that. I'm not trying to stay with you no more because you ain't talking about shit. You know what all you do? In fact, I take that back. All you doing is talking. And 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 I really take that back because all you doing is talking about shit, bullshit. Okay? So, yeah, I'm not trying to be rude. But, bitch, get the fuck out of here with that shit. Gone. Sometimes it's like that. Sometimes you have to give it to them straight. What does this say? Patiently waiting. Improvement. Divine timing. Working on self. And I feel like you've done that. I feel like you have been patiently waiting. But now, it's time for you to go ahead and... Uh, Mend some broken hearts, yours and whoever else's. Silent treatment. Someone deserves the silent treatment. Someone deserves for you just to be done, to close that door, and to give them the silent tra treatment. Let them know. I'm not trying to be rude, but bitch, Okay, that's all you got to do. That's all you got to do. Anything else? Anything else? Any other little nuggets of wisdom we need to share to the collective on how to put a motherfucker in a place, how to say, I'm gone, how to say, I'm out, how to say, no more. Anything else? You know, I got a million and one ways. I'm going to take these and that's it. Mm, that's right. See, you was just dealing with somebody that was all about them. It was all about them. Whatever was good for them was good for them. But was whatever was good for you, eh, mm, may not really matter. It's all about them. Give them the silent treatment. Just be done with it. Tell them it's time for them to put some respect on your name. Because it's time to man or, up, man or woman up. You're the only one that's that you were responsible for. That's it. Nobody else. You are not responsible for anybody else's happiness. You're not responsible to make sure that somebody else can love themselves, can like themselves, can tolerate themselves, can conduct themselves. You're not responsible for none of that. You're only responsible for you. Sometimes the hard part is letting go. But like they say, there is gold on the other side. The hard part is just letting go. This is Tracy. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, please subscribe, please share, and please join me for the next one. Bye now.